DEF CON this year had an IoT, Internet of Things, uh, village, which is mm -hmm. where they sort of, it's a little cluster of area you can learn a little bit more about a specific topic in security, and IoT mm -hmm. was the big thing for this year. There's a, a company, Pentest Partners, and what they did is they took a crack at this Samsung smart fridge, and the, the model number is, is it's, it's actually this huge, long model number, but basically it's a smart fridge that has a little touch screen on it that connects to the internet over Wi-Fi and has all these features like connecting to your Google Calendar. So instead of having a paper calendar on your fridge, you have your Google Calendar. Mm. It can show photos. It can play music. It can control the temperature inside of the fridge. All sorts of features. And I was going to say in, you know, helpful yeah. features, but some of them are kind of like, you know, my fridge did this before. I have little doubt okay. that if this were in my home, mm -hmm. There would be a paper calendar hanging over top of the touch screen. You wouldn't even know it was a smart fridge. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good point. I mean, they, they, they've taken so many things. Like, now I've got more room for magnets. Great, I guess. Or yeah. well, maybe not. Maybe not, right? Well, if you put magnets on top of a touch screen, that might not be a good thing. I don't think you're supposed to put them yeah. on the screen. <laughs> I, I don't think that was in the manual, though. I was reading the manual. But anyway, they, they took a crack at it, um, yeah. at least within the sp time span of DEF CON, yeah, and they time. found out um, that this has kind of a common flaw that we find in IoT mm -hmm. devices, where it does try and connect over SSL to certain websites, including mm -hmm. uh, Google Calendar, except it doesn't validate the SSL certificates, mm. and that's, that's pretty much the point of SSL, is to know who you're talking to. If you're not validating that, that certificate, you know you're encrypted, but you don't know who you're actually talking to. Right. So it seems that you can, if you've entered your Gmail credentials into your fridge, and someone man in the middle of the connection, your credentials are out in the open. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems there's a couple other services that it also supports, and there are other models of, of Samsung Fridge that support mm -hmm. even more services than that. It looked from their analysis that the only thing that they're actually validating that SSL cert on is the update process, yeah. which is good. What I would tend to do from a security standpoint is look at it from the point of view of how you manage it. That is, does it automatically do updates? Or are there things that you have to do to manage it, administer it like it's a computer, or is it you know, kind of a hands-off and kind of manages itself. Do we need a DMZ from our fridge now? You know, all of our, our untrusted IoT devices go in here, the things that are, nah. Let's keep your lanes segmented off. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, it's, is it, like you said, is it something that you have to manually get on there? Mm -hmm. or, or is it like your phone where you have to, you're alerted that the update is there, but you, have to right. tell it to install so, it. It's that level of automation that I think is an important. And I don't think the industry as a whole is there yet, but it's that that sort of thing that really I think is an and, important and important. Is part. it ultimately you know a full blown you know, Linux underneath there or something? Oh, that's mm -hmm. a good question. Yeah. What what is the operating system underneath there? Because with all these apps that it's it that it's well got, it 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 looks like an Android to me. Yeah.